If your ocarina sounds like this, then today I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Hey everybody, I'm David, and as someone who has a large collection of ocarinas, I've noticed that there are a lot of different variables that affect the sound of your ocarina. There is the overall shape, the internal volume, the placement of the holes, and even the design of the voicing, which is where the sound is mainly produced. But something that's often overlooked is that the amount of holes actually affects the stability of the tone. And what I mean by that is you probably noticed that some of the high notes in your ocarina might sound pretty weak or airy. Now this is a little bit more complex than most of you want to know, so I'm going to leave a lot of this information now, but basically the more holes that you have covered on your ocarina affects how the air inside that you blow down the windway resonates and creates a pitch. The more holes you have closed, the more stronger or stable the tone. The more holes you have open, the less strong and weaker the tone is. It's probably the easiest way I can explain it. Throughout Europe, especially Italy, the standard ocarina has 10 holes. And even though that seems like it can be a less desired situation because it has a slightly smaller range, it actually produces a stronger tone because there are less holes for air to escape through. Now back in the West, the 12 hole ocarina is more popular and some ocarina makers have tried to compensate for those weak high notes by changing the design, especially the voicing of their ocarinas. But unfortunately, unless you are pretty in depth into studying how the ocarina is designed, you really don't know when you're buying an ocarina if yours is gonna have that problem in the high end. So if you find that your ocarina is having a very weak tone or a very airy tone when you play the high D, E, and F notes, there is a trick that you can use called the acute bend technique. It's called the acute bend technique because the acute angle that you need to produce this tone is about 90 degrees. And you get that angle by bending forward, so it's an acute bend. So again, I'm going to play the high F on this ocarina. And you notice it's very, very hard to play at all. But if I use the acute bend technique by angling about 90 degrees, it comes out a little clearer. Now the reason that this works has to do with the distance between the ocarina and your chest and going back to how the air resonates within the ocarina, this distance here actually helps to stabilize the airflow that comes out of the voicing. I don't really know how it works that much, but it works. This technique only works for the Alto C slash tenor slash Do 3 ocarina, but I just want to note that not every Alto C needs this technique. So if you can avoid it, if you can find an ocarina that doesn't need it, I highly recommend that you do that because it's actually the fault of the instrument's design. Having to bend down every single time you want to play the top of a range greatly inhibits how you perform and how you play with the instrument. So if you can find one that is more suitable for playing, especially for faster, more complicated passages, so you don't don't have to do this, you're going to look less like a crazy person. But I know a great deal of you are only able to uh, afford or purchase one 12 hole ocarina, so if you're stuck with this, this is a great way to compensate. And just to quickly compare, this is an ocarina that doesn't really need the acute bend. But you will notice that if you use it on this particular ocarina, the high F does come out a little bit stronger, a little bit louder. And this ocarina is kind of in the middle, where it doesn't need the acute bend technique, but it improves it a little bit. That's gonna do it for this video and I hope you found this technique helpful for you. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more about different ocarina skills, tips, and tricks, I have this new book out called How to Play Ocarina, which goes more in depth into ocarina technique, sheet music, music theory, exercises, all kinds of things that will be very helpful to you in your ocarina journey. It's available for download now at davideraramos.com slash store. And if you'd like to get a notification on when the physical book is back in stock, be sure to sign up for my newsletter. If you have any questions or suggestions for other tutorials in the future, be sure to leave those in the comments down below. Don't forget to to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know whenever I post a new tutorial, review, or music video. You definitely don't want to miss those. Thanks so much for watching and I'll have another tutorial for you guys next Tuesday.